Good morning YouTube, welcome to RV Daydream and yet another park. Now this one we're not going to do a 360. Uh, it's a big enough park we're going to ride our bikes and take you through it and show it to you. The campground is a lot bigger than we thought. It looks like about 300 sites, right? It's 289? Yeah, something. It's, it's 280 something. I'll tell you, it's probably the most spacious as far as sites. You're going to see that, and I'll probably say that a few times as we're driving through. This is the most space we've had so far. Yeah, it's been a long time. We haven't been to state parks for a while. Been a lot of resorts down in uh, Florida, so you know how they cram them all together there. It's a nice change. Um, picnic tables, fire rings. Now, this park used to be, from what we can tell, um, all primitive. Uh, when I, sorry, scratch that. It's not primitive. Electric. They didn't have water necessarily, um, but electric. And there's a decent amount of tent sites. But this is probably the best state park that I never heard of. <laughs> um, I've, sure. I've never, it's never even come up and been mentioned by anybody um, as far as the park itself. First of all, it's rural. You're not near anything. The noise is very minimal that you hear in this area. I think we did hear sirens at one point. Um, they are adding, or they have add, added at this point, about 35 full hookup sites. And you can tell they're new, which we'll show you that in a second here. But as far as the loops, these loops are spread out so far. There's a lot of water features around, lots of trails, including a big, long, looks like a bike trail of some kind. Um, they call another section a mountain bike trail, so you may want to check that out. Um, but, but the bike trail, walking trail, it's, uh, it's a pretty decent one. And it takes you, of course, to water. Um, and it goes the whole length of the park. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically take you out, drive you around and up and down through all the loops, and um, you should be able to figure it out. I mean, during the, the trip, we'll, maybe I'll try to stop and show you some of the uh, signs that show you what the loops are. But more importantly, I'll make mention of maybe site numbers. Um, the camping here has been, as far as people here, pretty sparse. And, uh, oh, their maintenance was quick. Uh, when we quick. first got here, our 50 amp didn't work, and he showed up 20 minutes and fixed it. And that was on a Sunday. So that should get you to an idea of <laughs> how good they are. So let me show you our site first. And um, we are at a full hookup site. And then we'll go from there, put you on the bikes, and show you the rest of the park. So this is how we know this is relatively new. They have seating here for the grass where they've done a lot of construction work of some kind and I mean that kind of uh, duplicates all the way down through here so what's the deal um, concrete pad that you hardly see this in these state parks but concrete pad you can see over there concrete pads that's a perfect example right there of what it looks like that's a little bit shorter one but still um, wide enough apron um, we do have one tire off but we could have stayed on we were just unloading the bikes out of the back Look how little it's populated. I'm not exactly sure why. Everybody checked out of here early. Now this area here, again, uh, has been seeded with grass, but it hasn't taken yet. But the site is new asphalt. And then you can see our disaster we have going today. But I like this. I've, ne I've never really seen this to where the utilities are put on their own concrete pad and they've got a pole here that's going to protect them. Um, that is spectacular. I think that's a great idea. I, I wish other parks would do that because, like in the case of this here, um, sometimes I'm just moving them out of the way. We had a little bit of a water issue with uh, our uh, pump, the check valve and the pumps going bad, so we were filling the freshwater tank and it was emptying out. But the uh, sewer, uh, not that, I'd have to say, the 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 plug that keeps it sealed off and the cap that goes on top of that great the problem is is the sewers a little bit on the deep side so you're gonna have to have one of those rubber grommets um, this has worked so far we haven't had any smells but I don't like the I don't like the setup there I don't like doing that um, it should be a, a rubber donut that we put there maybe we'll have to pick one up 
And then of course, this goes back, there is a trail that's underneath those trees. And again, almost every one of these loops has their own little trail that takes you over to another loop or potentially down to the water. But very spacious and right here you can see, even though they've done construction on this site over here, this is an electric only site. And we're gonna see a lot of those. There are three dump stations I believe here um two for sure but I, I think there may even be three um there's a shower house up there and there's quite a few shower houses throughout the park because like i said this used to be like heidi said uh almost a 300 site 280 some site park and there was just electric only at almost all the sites so you can imagine you know what your water would be like so they have a lot of these gray water stations that you can dump your gray water and of course they have a lot of fills there also you know to where you can fill your water container whatever that may be so we're gonna head out here oh it looks like that one over there has its own little grill go figure that out not that we need that I think that might be a maybe a handicap site and there are camper hosts how many camper hosts were there Hyde four seven there's a lot of camper hosts I do know that so again you can see there's another that's a water hook up there so you can fill your water but you don't need to do that anymore because of what this is and and up there you can see off in the distance maybe um there's a gray uh dump there and right across the street another gray dump and then we have a guy washing his rv i don't know i guess so let's go ahead and take you for a ride and show you what this place looks like i'll follow heidi along here and we're going to do the remainder of our loop, which is actually pretty big. Now, for us to get into our site, we had to come down through this loop and um, actually uh, do the little circle on the end and then come back because the sites are all angled for, of course, what you would think, backing in. Uh, as far as pull-through sites, I don't think there are any. Do you know, Hyde? Uh, I don't recall seeing any pull-through sites. Yeah, I don't either. So we'll trek right along here and uh, show you the loops because we got quite a few loops to go look at. Hopefully the wind's not too loud for you. We're using our uh, wireless microphones so that we can... Uh, give you guys a little bit better sound I hope but the wind I'm sure will come into play at some point again look at some of these sites look at this site how big it is and the fact there's so many dump stations why wouldn't you do this you know very windy here I will say that a lot of the sites are kind of short. Yeah, they they're are not, short. They're not super long. It'd be so nice to be see. back here. <laughs> so you can see. Um, but there's another loop that. Another trail here. You have waterfront. Right. <laughs> So we'll go ahead and head back now past our site so you can see it. Now, a lot of this will be seen doubly, of course, because we're going to go down a loop and it'll terminate itself like it just did in that circle. And then we'll come back up through again. The other thing you're going to find, hopefully the camera's doing a pretty decent job of it, is absorbing the bumps these seams that are in the road and there's a lot of them and they they're they're pretty bad in a couple of the places so be aware
these little shelter houses or cabanas or whatever they would be nice. Yeah. During the summer. There's our site, just like we saw earlier. So the playground looks relatively new here. All right, so this is the C loop. What we just did was the B loop. And there's a couple of sections of C loop. So C loop 74 to 83 is down this way. They have handicap sites there. This is relatively new. Looks Looks like the, the handicap sites, sites have. have the built-in grills. And this is a very short loop. There you get the view of but the lake. You can see creek. here's that trail that was in the other loop bringing you here. And of course, water. You can see all the water down here. And there's boats down there too. Is this considered a creek? Um, it's a pretty big creek if yeah. it is. <laughs> All right, so if you see a built-in grill, we know that that's a handicap site. But this is some of the last full hookups. This this would be a good site. Site 79. 79. For sure. Heidi, Heidi likes that one. Yep. It overviews all that water, you know, oversees all that water. So let's go ahead and get a little bit further along here, and we'll take. This is the, a small loop. Yeah, we'll go to the other C loop. Again, you can see the remnants, these gray water dumps that are in the area because of these sites not being full hookup. They used to be electric only. All right, so now the other C loop, this is 84 through 98. Yeah, it looks like uh, our Rockwood. Yeah, it is our Rockwood. It's an older model. This is the first year that we looked at. Uh, no, that's a little bit different though. That's a big site there, 97. Yeah, that is a big double site, and that's yeah. a double site also. Yeah. Uh, so I'll show you those that, real quick. Um, both of these have got to be handicapped sites. Maybe they just haven't uh, painted them yet. Uh, they do have a built-in grill, but it is a double site. Uh, you can see why I say that and how wide it is. Just went ahead and checked it out and we were mistaken these are not all shower houses uh, they are bathrooms now there's a sign down here that tells you what these loops are so i'm going to go down heidi can stay here at the corner i'm just going to go down around the look at the sign and then come back up so we can go down that loop but i want you to see what you're gonna yeah it's the a loop just 35 sites down there a loop And this one here, as far as I know, has no full hookups whatsoever. These are just electric only. But this is where, I, I just want to show you real quick here. Here's the uh, water supply. Um, that's a gray there. But here, here's a water supply right there, uh, just to our left. 
then that's a, a gray dump. But look at how big these sites are. I mean, there's got to be 30 yards to that picnic table from here, and then another 25 yards to the next one after that. So very big sites. We're going to go down around and come back up through here. Again, look how big this site is. I, I, I knew this was going to be a reoccurring theme, but spacious is just an understatement. This would probably be ideal because, um, let's see, this site number four. Of course, you have electric, but there's water right there. That's what that blue little uh, square mushroom looking table thing is. That's water hook up there. So you could have enough water to continue until you need to dump your tanks, which again, there's a few dump stations, which we'll see. Now, I'm assuming what we're getting ready to go down here, which you'll see in the camera in just a second. Oh, anyways, let's go back just for a quick second. Look how big the site is. Look at all that area. You can use all that. Why wouldn't you? So now <laughs> we're getting down to the area. And this, I'm pretty darn sure, looks like a shower house yeah. to me. Now, the other thing you're going to see here is um, another, and through the whole park, another water supply and another gray dump. So you can see where you could stay here for quite some time, um, even though it's electric only. This looks brand new. This has got to be brand new. I think so, that they must have put all new electric in also when they did the full hookups. Heidi's going to go run through there real quick and show you what that looks like. And I'm going to give her my phone to do so. All right. This is the family restroom, which is, and you have to have a key for that. So this is the men's bathroom. I'm not going to be able to get in there. But you can see. We have a code. Yeah, but there, it's a key. <laughs> you can see how new this looks. So we'll see if I can get into the. Oh, look at this. This was not on. I'm gonna come in here. This was not on the list. So there's a washer, two washers, two dryers, and a wash basin. So that is super nice. They do not have that on their map. Yeah, so you got three bathroom and then we get the showers which is very clean all brand new you can tell we have handicapped super clean yeah definitely this is pretty darn new So the shower house, there's actually laundry here. We did not know that. Now we're not gonna go down this loop. It doesn't seem to make much sense. You can see the whole loop from here. Uh, but again, it's the same thing. Relatively very big sites and then um, electric only. So like, wow, it's just huge. It's just amazing how big these sites are. It's like they want you to enjoy yourselves or something. <laughs> yeah. I would say that if you picked any site, you would be good. Yeah. Any site at all. And if I would have known that these electric sites were like this, I would have done that. I, you know, most times when you get electric only, uh, it, it's, it's a challenge sometimes to get your water or to dump gray water or anything like that. Well, with our macerator, uh, we could pump right into these gray waters, no problem. Um, 
Not sure if that's what they're designed to do, but I could do it. No sewage, though. No sewage, yeah, absolutely no sewage. But they do have three dump stations. It is three? Okay, I thought there was only D, two. D, E, and F, I think, this near those sections. Okay, so once we get out here, again, look at how big these sites are. <laughs> That site has got to be 50 yards before you get to this one. Yeah, like that this a, one's a nice site. Yeah, very nice. So once we get back out here, we still have, this isn't, none of these are even a big loop. <laughs> There's a really big loop that's we're going to be going down. So we'll let Heidi lead here and take us to the next place. So when you come in through the gate, to get to all these loops that we just looked at, you're gonna make a right into here. So let me, let me go do a little loop-de-loop -loop real quick. There's your check-in right up there. That's the check-in. That's where you come in and obviously check in. And then straight ahead is the boat ramp and that's the loops we just covered, A, B, and C. Of course, water's a thing here. So we're gonna go ahead and do the boat ramp. And then once we come back up here, you'll see the uh, other loops, which will be on the left-hand side. This is a nice road to ride your bike. For sure. Super nice. So here we have some bathrooms off to the right again. And of course, everything that you would think a, oh, beach. They got a beach down here too. Oh, I'd which, love to walk down through here. I guess if it's hot enough, that might be something you want to do. Looks like they need to clean up from the winter, though. And then this is the turnaround for the boat. You can see the campground map. back up and head back to the loops okay so now you can see going back towards the check-in when you first come through the uh, double gate shack there you have a choice to make a left an immediate left and that's going to be loops D E and F and that's for sites number 99 through 287 and you have the dump station there for the dumpsters you can see they have ice on site they do sell firewood here we didn't check the price on the firewood and of course there's parking there too so again through the gate you'll make your left and here's dump stations we'll see another dump station a little bit further along I'll drive through here, typical dump station, so we'll just drive through one. You won't have to see any other ones. But pretty typical. Uh, Non-potable water, a couple of uh, capped sewer dumps. 
Now there's a trail that is just past us on the left. Um, and then you'll see there's a shortcut that's up here a little ways that gets you to the trail and that will take you all the way down to the water. Now they call it a hiking trail, but I believe even though it's dirt, it's compacted enough that, and as long as it hasn't rained, um, I think you can ride your bike to that area. You can see we're going up a little bit of a steep hill. Might have to pedal to get myself up here. There's a water tower. And the first loop we're coming to is D loop 99 through 137. Another trail. I'm going to show you. Like I said, almost every one of these loops that we go down, there's trails. You can see that trail off. The, it's a hiking trail. It's not a bike trail, but another big site. Looks like that they've redone the electric for almost all of these, except I know there is one loop that's not true, but. too much wind. Yeah. Now you can see these gray water dumps all the way through here, both sides of the road, and of course water too. As far as an electric only, as far as an electric only site, they set this up pretty good. They did a really good job with it. Um, they wanted to make sure that you're not looking for water and a place to dump your gray, because obviously we know what happens when everybody dumps their gray water uh, when they're full and there's no place close. They just dump it on the ground because that's just the way people are. And again, we got another trail that's indicated here uh, on site 118. Some of these sites are very short. Don't get me wrong, they're very short, but they are so spacious. Um, so I think I need to mention, so you can get an idea why this campground's probably pretty darn empty. It's April 19th and um, Pretty sure they opened April 1st. I, I think they opened April 1st too, but here's the thing. I'm amazed this campground's this empty and people are saying, oh, there's no place to stay. I can't ever find a place to camp. You know, it's so, too crowded. There's too many RVs out there now. There is no reason for this. And then you go to somewhere like, uh, West Branch, which is in Ravenna, Ohio. It's one of our favorites. And we couldn't even get two days in a row for two months. Uh, it's just incredible how something like this can go untouched. And there's no reason. This is a great park and it is very well kept. <clears throat> so we'll go up here and catch the next loop which um, runs kind of parallel with this one. Um, so let's head out and do that. I like how they cleaned out everything. It looks so nice, you know? Yeah, yeah, all the sites are, you know, you don't have woods right up on the back of your right. rig. Now with the water tower up here, I have to say that um, our water pressure is fair. It, they have regulators in all the uh, um, faucets. 
Um, it, it's good, the water's very good, and uh, the electricity's really good here too. We've had really good luck with uh, our site, although we had a 50 amp failure w once they fixed that. Um, it was just a bad breaker, it, it, and it was new, which is funny. So there you go, another dump station right there. And now we're coming down through here for another loop. I like that this park here, the, the, the tent sites are just as equally nice. So a lot of these have got to be tent sites because they're 20 amp only. So even though you see some RVs in here, um, these are older pedestals. They have not replaced these yet. And of course, electric only, but still doable. Definitely doable, especially if you're not running your air conditioner. Little power management, you can get by just fine. So now when you get down here, you can see this is a big loop, a uh, big circle, I should say. Very private. I'm kind of glad that they did not expand into the middle. Uh, it gives you a lot of privacy. You know, you have woods behind you, you have woods across from you. Of course, your neighbors on either side of you, but still it's, it, it's not bad and of course there's water to your back and there's uh, looks like trails uh, that maybe aren't official trails but there are trails and paths that go down towards the water uh, at a lot of these places. Yeah, there's definitely a trail there, a path. There you go for another water and again, gray water. All right, so we'll go ahead and go out this loop here and we will pick it up um, at the top. Now this is the big loop, right Hyde? Yeah. Yeah, this, this loop here is one of the largest uh, with or the largest with all the sites for the most part. Um, but we still have another one to go. Okay, so we're just coming out of this big giant loop. We have a few more sites to go. And I, again, the size of the sites really make it worth it. Um, tents, pavilions, whatever you want to call them, canopies, pop-up canopies, insta shelters. There's plenty of room for that. So as long as you pay for your additional guest, it would be a great way to get, you know, a, a few friends camping with you um, or your kids, you know, if they want You're to come You're allowed to have six people per site. Six per site. Yeah. So other than parking, which they have overflow parking, that's out yeah. by the, the check-in just like every other place. Yeah, other than parking, there's plenty of room for them to stay. 
So up here at the stop sign, we'll make a right and we'll go down to the next location. Uh, just to give you guys an idea of where we just were, I better show you this sign again, huh? This was E loop, sites 138 through 201. So that, that was a pretty big loop. Let's go catch up with Heidi here. All right, so F soup, F soup, F loop, 202 to 287. And again, we're running on uh, electric only here. Um, I don't know about these pedestals, if they are 30 amp, but I believe, that one said 20 amp only, but. Yeah, well, the sites are spread out. Okay. Yeah, every so often there's like a little pump over. I think somebody got into the trash there. So on this F loop, you can see here, we got a split and this is going to take us to uh, sites 205 to 244. And like Heidi had just said, the uh, tent sites, that could be that's why some of these are listed as 20 amp only. And we're seeing RVs a few sites down from those posts. Like that that we just passed, number 206, it says 20 amp only. But now we come around, there's a motor home, and I seriously doubt they're running on 20 amps. I mean, you can do it, obviously, but not sure about parking your trailer in the grass, but okay. If you decide to just drive up, um, all the sites are reservable, and if nobody is up at the entrance, you just go online and reserve your spot. Yeah, our, our reservation was very easy, and it wasn't expensive. Um, how much was it for four days? I think it was $180 for four or five days. We're here five days. So $180 for five days. Um, that's typical for the state parks. Um, we are in the beginning of what they consider peak season. I still like it when it's warmer, but um, some people camp in this. This is the camper host down here. Now, just to let you know with the camper host, um, what the deal is. In, in Ohio State Parks, as far as that goes, Ohio State Park camp host, some places will provide water, but none of them, no, that I know of, no camper host has sewer. I, I don't know of any camper host that has a sewer hookup. So you have water and electric at some parks but almost all of them are, are just or i should say there's a majority of them that are electric only so of course you got to use your 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 blue tanks and you know your totes and you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do um and there's no pay you're just given a site to use your duties are pretty minimal i believe here 
Um, camper host years ago used to enforce rules and a lot of other stuff, but now that's up left to the park rangers. They're just here for, um, you know, somebody to, to, to contact if you have any problems. Basketball court back there. There goes a deer just run across our path. We've seen quite a few deer here. Uh, it's expected. I mean, we're out. We're out quite a ways. Like I said, it's roughly, what, 12 miles to Walmart? Yeah, and, and that, and we've got um, really no family dollars or anything either that seem to be local. Ooh, might have to hunt that one down. Do all our shopping at the Dollar General. There's a trail, go figure that out. The trail's called Deer Run Trail. <laughs> How appropriate. Even at our campsite, we could see deer hoof prints in our site in the, uh, the, the area that they have tried to put grass seed down and it hasn't taken yet. Um, and there was somebody there before us, so obviously the deer are coming through relatively quick uh, for us to come in after somebody had left and that, mar that trail, the footprint was pretty fresh. Okay, so now, still staying on that floop, we're gonna go do number 245 through 282. Of course, it's uh, Monday, so everybody's starting to leave now. Again, I know this isn't probably coming out on camera very well, but it really looks as if you're driving down a road into the woods to stay. Um, of course, these sites up here don't appear that way, but, and once you get closer to them, it doesn't look that way either. I mean, you have neighbors potentially, but at, at the rate that this place is, I mean, if we were to bring our RV down here and stay, um, I don't even know if there's anybody back here. Oh yeah, there's a tent. There's a tent way down here. And I don't think they were here yesterday. So, I mean, you're kind of by yourself. And of course you got your sewer dump there and trails going down to a drop off there on the lake. Yeah, off in the distance is all the lake, or the creek, I should say. Yeah, that's a tent site here, 20 amp. Looks like this might be another, yep, another tent site, another 20 amp. And another 20 amp. So these apparently are all tent sites. That one's not. That one don't say 20 amp only. Uh, that one is a 30 amp. So again, it's mixed in, just like Heidi said, sometimes you see tents right next to RVs, but you have plenty of space. It's good for everybody. And there's another trail. Like I said, every one of these loops have trails also. You can see the camper host has his blue tanks underneath there.
Yeah, it is. Is that it? And here's, uh, of course, Deer Run Trail. All right, so that's all the camping loops. Now there's a, if you look here in the corner, there's a, a trail, a walking trail path that goes down to that trail that'll take you all the way down to the creek. And it runs basically from the creek all the way up past the uh, check-in point and then going in the opposite direction. Um, definitely a hiking trail. I don't know how safe it is for biking, but there is a mountain bike trail that's through here also. Um, of course, we're not going to go mountain biking. It's a little bit more than what we really are into. So <laughs> that's the park. Um, I think we're having a, a bit of awe about the whole thing because, like I said, we just spent winter in Florida. And some of these resorts that uh, we were at, um, you could sneeze and hit somebody's, you know, RV. So it's... Uh, that's a little bit different. Some of these sites are pretty darn big. And, it, you know, we've, we've seen that before. It's just, it's been a while. The, but I have to say, I'm not sure, even though we have a little bit of a cold snap, um, and it is the week, I, I still can't believe there's nobody here. Uh, you see, there's almost, like I said, 280 some sites. How many do you think are occupied? A hundred? Yeah. That's a, so... I don't know. It's just crazy. Well, it could be, you know, school's still in, too. That's true. But still, I mean, we were just, again, probably because we're in Florida. Yeah. But I remember we always tried to get to camping right away whenever we got to, um, you know, the beginning of the day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because we liked that. Uh, even when she was working, um, you know, we would go to the park then because we had a spot because it was hard to get spots. And obviously that's not the case here. So we're gonna close this out. If you like this video, click like or subscribe and uh, tell us what you think. Um, again, we've done park reviews in the past or park drive-throughs like this. Some of them have been 360. Um, it's just our thoughts on it and what it looks like. This isn't supposed to be a thorough overview of the park plenty of information online we just want to add to it so that's it as always we hope to see you out here bye bye